everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing something I've been wanting to do for a while and I'm quite excited about it and I hope you'll be excited about it too. So we are going to go through my wardrobe and today I'm going to share with you some of my must-haves for my autumn to winter fashion. I think we can all agree that fashion has really evolved over the last year. With the coming out of loungewear and of course with comfort trumping everything else, I've been loving the new evolution to style. I found that my own style has evolved as well. And as much as I don't always like to keep up with the trends per se, there was really a distinct palette and style that was also coming through that I really loved. And what I would generally do is go out and generally just shop for stuff that I like. And what I found that I did this time, which is something Hasbe has been telling me to do for a while, was create a lookbook. So for my autumn to winter, a style I decided to create a lookbook on Pinterest so I went through Pinterest looking at styles that I liked and then when I went shopping I looked for specific pieces so I thought I'd just share that with you guys and if there's something that piques your interest I'm gonna share where I got them from as well so let's go raid my cupboard <laughs> So I'm sure you must have noticed quite a specific palette coming through. And I think that's the one thing that I noticed as well when I was going through my lookbook and designing my lookbook was that I was loving the tone on tone, the neutral on neutral, and just very much um, the neutral sort of colors, the beiges, um, and I'm absolutely loving that at the moment. With a mix of the denims and a mix of a little bit of blues as well and the whites coming through, I think I definitely can say I have a specific palette. Also being from a part of the world where we experience almost an eternal summer and our winters aren't really as harsh, I like to layer quite a bit as well. So I do find, especially because I'm on the road, um, I do tend to feel quite warm as the day goes on. So I like the ability to be able to take off a layer and still feel comfortable. One of the pieces that I actually bought in summer and I'm taking into autumn and winter is my trusty linens. These are super comfortable and nice wide legs. So I'm loving these. I love the texture of this. I love the tone of it. I love the color. So I'm enjoying having this in the autumn months while it is a little bit uh, warm still and we haven't gotten into the very cold winter months. Currently while it's still warm I'm enjoying layering this or pairing this with little camis, um, little crop tops or even you know full tops, um, strappy tops and what I like to do as it gets a little bit colder or as I experience the chill is layer on a nice jersey with it. So I want to show you one of my other favorite buys which is this chunky knit jersey and this one I got from Cotton On. I absolutely love it because I love the puff on the sleeve over here so it holds tight around my wrist but it's got a little bit of a puff of the sleeve. Um, very, very old school. I absolutely adore this and it is super warm and cuddly. So I find this quite nice for layering um, and that I can still wear it at the moment while it hasn't really gotten into the harsh part of the winter. And then the next set of pants that I bought, a slightly thicker material, also has a very chino vibe. Um, if you have to look at it, uh, I got this one from Cotton On. I love the wide leg on this. I love the color on this. Um, it actually sits up around my waist, which I like, so it's quite high-waisted. Um, it's quite thick as well, so it's going to be nice as it gets a little bit colder. But I don't find it too thick that I couldn't wear it right now, so I'm loving the color on this one. Um, yeah, so this is an absolute win. I love the fit as well, and I'll show you when I try stuff on, but in love with these. Uh, another set of pants that are a must-have for me are the ripped jeans. So for me, this is something that I wear through summer. Um, we don't experience a very harsh winter, so you find on the weekends if you're getting a little bit of warmer temperatures, I'm layering this um, with tops, with jerseys. Um, so I feel like the ripped jean is still very in. And this one I got from Mr. Price, and it's a mom high-rise. So I love the fit of this. I love the color. I like the faded look. So this is very much something I'm going to take into autumn and winter as well. Sticking with the denim and going into autumn, I am loving a, a denim jacket. Um, I loved it in summer as well, but it, it's just too hot. Um, but I love layering this. So I'm going to show you a few different ways I'm going to layer it. Um, and you could literally wear a denim jacket in so many ways. You could dress it up, you could dress it down. 
so I'm absolutely loving it. This one I actually got from Cotton On. Um, I like the color. I really, really love the color. I also like the fit and I also like that it's not a very thick and heavy denim jacket. Um, so it's actually perfect for the autumn month. So I'm absolutely adoring knits at the moment and I think as it gets colder the knits are going to be really really nice. I love this knit. I got this at Mr. Price and I think I still have a tag on it. This was 200 bucks. Um, I love the detail on it, this crisscross uh, and the little detail on there. I love the texture. I like that it's a little bit lighter so I could still put a jacket over it but I'm absolutely going to adore this with a skirt. So I will show you how I'm going to put that together with a skirt in a bit. Okay, and sticking on the knits, I found this as well that I adored. So I got this one at Cotton On uh, and I absolutely love it. So I would put a little cami inside, um, even put on a big jacket over this, um, a denim over it as well, denim on denim with this inside. Um, and I would even wear this now while it's still a little bit warm in the autumn months going into winter maybe during the day, but absolutely loving this. I love the color as well. I love the texture and um, yeah, one of my favorite pieces that I got by far. And then another favorite piece. They call this the boyfriend shirt at uh, Cotton On, but it's very much a flannel. So um, love this and I'm going to show you how I'm going to fit it on. It's just an oversized flannel and this is actually a size small. Um, and it's a petite, but you can see it's quite big. So obviously um, the bigger sizes are really, really uh, in right now. And I like to sort of, if I'm wearing something like this, I would tie it up um, around my waist uh, and just to sort of, uh, sort of around where my pants are sitting uh, and let the top be quite baggy. But I'm gonna show you how I do that as well. And then I have got, oh, this is one of my favorite buys. Oh, I, I keep saying everything is my favorite, but I really do feel like it is. Um, I really wanted one of these fluffy coats. I don't know if it's actually gonna be cold enough to wear this, but I got this just in case I didn't wanna spend too much on it. I got it because um, these jackets can get flippin' expensive, but I got this one at Mr. Price and I paid 400 bucks for it but it is massive. Um, if I put it on, it's actually, yeah, well, you can't see this, but it's down to my legs over there. So yeah, pretty long. Okay, so I'm really loving this. Just looking at it on right now. Um, so I do hope it's gonna get cold enough so that I can rock this baby, but yeah. And then, I wanted to add in some leather because leather has made a comeback. Uh, so I got these leather pants. I also got a leather skirt as well. Um, haven't decided exactly how I'm going to pair that off just yet. Um, but yeah, so these are the leather pants. This I also got from Mr. Price and this was $2.50. Um, I like it because it's high waisted. It's quite tapered as well. Um, it doesn't have a very skinny bottom. So it's like a straight leg really. And it's got a nice little belt at the top as well. So love this. And then more shirts. So it's gonna look like there's a lot of beige and there is. So <laughs> I love this shirt as well. It's, um, this shirt, I like the feel of it. It feels linen-y, but I think it's more cottony. Uh, but again, I'm gonna do what I plan to do with the flannel where I tie it up and I'm gonna show you, uh, we'll compare just my lookbook and uh, the final looks that I got, but I'm absolutely loving this shirt. This I got from Cotton On. Uh, and this was about 450 Rand. Love the texture though. Like I can feel that this is a really nice shirt and it's going to last a while. Like I'm not gonna, uh, after a few washes, find that this is not in a good state. And then another one that I love, the boxy tees. So this is a boxy tee. See, there's the arm over there. Um, more of a caramel color. So maybe slightly off the beige. Uh, I love this for layering as well. So putting it together and I'm going to show you the look that I planned for it with uh, the beige pants that I showed you earlier. That together with um, a nice jersey with the like with the tone on tone or the neutral on neutral. And um, as it gets warmer, if it gets warmer, you can just take off a layer. So loving this boxy shirt and I'm going to show you how that looks in a bit. So in terms of shoes, there's only one thing that I really wanted for this autumn to winter. And they were these. 
I love these chunky boots. I love the fact that it uh, has a little bit of a heel, which is great, but a comfortable, quite a nice, comfortable block heel. Um, this I got from Mr. Price. I do still want to get one more of these and I'm looking for the right shade. You guessed it, beige. So yeah, I'm looking for one pair of these, uh, one more pair of these in uh, more of a neutral tone. So if any of you see that anyway, a really nice pair that looks similar to these, I'm looking out for that. Um, another one, obviously I love my chunky tackies and I love a chunky white tacky. So I pair these off, I've got these cute little frill socks. Whenever I'm wearing tackies, I'm now going with the frill socks. Um, and even though we're not really doing heels as much, if the occasion calls for it, I have one trusted heel and of course it's in beige. In terms of jewellery, I have always preferred a bit more of a gold palette than a silver palette um, and I'm sticking to that really. Uh, I've been loving these hoops for the last year or so, so I'm keeping that. I love the square hoops, I got this about a year or so ago and I'm keeping that. But right now I'm also loving the different shapes of earrings. So these quite square ones, loving those at the moment. Um, this is actually a gift that Chad got me. These are actually from Poetry. But I love these slightly different shapes to the earrings. And then I've got some ear, some um, necklaces that I'm going to layer. So I've got these flat pearls, which I absolutely adore. Um, a detail necklace over there. And then this one over here that I love as well. So all of these are very, very 90s vibes. Like I remember as a young girl in the 90s wearing necklaces like this. So I'm glad they made a comeback. I wish I saved some of those. But um, yeah, I love the little detail, the little words. Um, this one, the little detail on there. These I got from Cotton On. And I'm absolutely adoring the flat pearl look. Very, very cute. Well, that was super fun and super tiring. So now all I have to do is clear that up. So send help. I hope you enjoyed my mini impromptu fashion show. Um, and those were just a few of the ways that I decided um, how to interchange the outfits and how to put them together. Uh, so you can really do a lot with it. You can mix and match the jewelry. You can mix and match the pants and the tops. Um, I started with more of a, a classic style, a bit more formal or smart casual, and then I went into a little bit of casual grunge as well. So you can really play it up uh, with just a few items that I showed you. You can really mix it up to get a whole lot of outfits out of it. Um, and again, I love layering. Um, 
some of the stuff I didn't have today that I would have liked to show you, a little sling bag, um, also more like a tan tone. I've got a little tan belt as well that I didn't have on me today. So those are some of the added extras that you could put together um, when you are looking at your lookbook or uh, putting together your style for autumn to winter. But I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And if you enjoyed it, you can give me a thumbs up and of course, subscribe to my channel. It would mean the absolute world to me. So if you want to see more of this, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Till next time. Mwah.